G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look, there's a frog. Now, I know I did a frog with pebbles recently. Hopefully you saw that one. It was a different frog though. Do you remember how it had those long pointy sort of fingers and toes? This one's different, it's got rounded ones. Uh, this one I just got from Amazon. So it's got the little rounded balls of little toes. I think it's a bit bigger too. And there's his eyeballs in there. So what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be like a two, two step video. Um, I'm gonna paint his eyes later. But first step is I am just going to put some glitter in his back. There's a lady by the name of Casey. Hi Casey, if you're watching, <laughs> she's um, in my Facebook group. She was doing these amazing frogs with glitter in them. So I thought, oh, I wanna try that. So, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do it in a couple of stages. I'm going to put clear resin with some glitter in it. And I thought this would be pretty. It is the Gold Opal Mixology Glitter from Let's Resin. You can use the Let's Resin link in my description. It might not be for this one in particular, but you can get on that link and then you can search in their store for anything, really. Just taking a little bit of that out. I'm doing two things at the moment, but because I only need a tiny little bit, probably don't even need that. Um, I'm just doing this, doing two at the same time. Uh, and then as soon as I finish this, I'll move him to the side and I'll bring my other one down and use um, the rest of my resin. <laughs> uh, up here for thinking, mate. Down there for dancing. All right, so there's my glitter. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do it in two, two parts. So the first part is putting this glitter in and I'm just gonna give it a bit of a spray. And then once that has cured tomorrow, hopefully that will go down into his little head there as well. Once that's, oh, it's going into his eyes as well. Just put a little bit there. All right, see, I didn't need all of that. I'll have to do something else with that. Once that has set, I am then going to come in with my Meron, Meron, metallic gold powder, and um, I'm going to brush the inside of him with that. It's more of like a coppery, goldish colour, so I thought it would match nicely with that. And then I'm going to backfill that, and then once it's nearly up to the top, I'm going to put some more glitter in his little fingers and toes okay so that's the plan all right so stay tuned I'm gonna move on to my next project and I will see you for the next step shortly so I was all set to dust the inside of my little froggy with my Meron and then I thought I wonder if these areas in here can just hold a little bit of resin I'm thinking maybe they will just in there and in there so when you turn him over um, we'll have a bit of gold like on the tops of his legs as well and then I might not worry about the toes see I think if I pour any glitter in there it's just all going to run down so yeah I might just just do the tops and of his legs <laughs> now this is my other frog uh, if you didn't see me make this one I do have a video on this frog see he's got the longer toes whereas this one's got the rounded toes he's got a bit of texture on his back this one's the let's resin one from let's resin you can use one of the links in my description um, for let's resin and just scroll through until you find the this frog so um i still will do the meron but i'm just going to add a little, <laughs> i made up a tiny little bit of resin oh gosh never mind i probably don't even need all of that but let's just pop a little bit of glitter in there. It's not enough. <laughs> I made up like a tiny little bit of resin. I did like 10 grams of A and five grams of B. Is that what I did? I think that's what I did. It wasn't a lot. Okay, but I've still got more than I need. 
All right, now, trying to get it in there. Actually, I might use a little spoon. What do you think? A little spoon to try and get it in there. Because it's only going to be a little, just a little bit in there. I don't want it to go anywhere else. Look, there we go, he's in there. All right. Now, I wonder if I can put a little bit just in this one. Oh, gosh, it's difficult to get it in there. Ah, it's dripping down. No, don't drip down. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether that would work or not. Just a little bit will stay in there. Get back in there. As long as a little bit stays in, I'll be I'll be happy. Let's clean off the rest of it because that resin that's in there now is is hard. It's set. I did that yesterday. And I was all set to come and do my dusting. And then I changed my mind. What am I going to do with this glitter? I'm going to have to go and find another little mould to put glitter in, aren't I? Are they equal? Needs a little bit more, I think. So it's equal with that one. And then I'll just put a tiny bit into this little arm here like so and if it runs down I'll just catch a drip alrighty that seemed to work okay I'll keep an eye on it if it starts dripping then I'll just wipe it away Stray piece of glitter there. So yeah, um, I'll let that set, and then I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, chasing a stray piece of glitter around. Oh, it's all right. It's gone down the side. All right, that's it. No torching of it. If it wants to overflow. There's yeah, there's not much room in that one. Probably didn't need to do those, but look, there's a tiny little bit in there. All right, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and then we'll dust the rest of it with the Maron. Okay, I decided to try and put a little bit in his little toes. Um, and I figured if it, if it runs down a little bit. Once it's set, I can still like dust a little bit of the Meron gold over it. That, that should work, shouldn't it? Like I can still put a little bit of the gold over. Um, but then he'll, he'll have little clear tootsie toes. What do you reckon? Anyway, we'll, we'll try it. It's what I wanted to do initially and I thought, oh, I don't know that it'll work. I'm putting a tiny bit in. This one's running down the, the, like the toes a little bit. But um, yeah, once I've dusted it with the powder, uh, I think it'll be fine because we'll have gold over the tops of the of the glitter, just on the like the long long areas. So yeah, we'll just give it a go, hey. <laughs> well, there's another. Is that another toe? Gosh, how many toes has this thing got? There's another little cavity there anyway. I'll just put glitter in it. <laughs> the spoon seems to be working okay. I'm just like dripping, dripping a drop, dropping a drip into each little toe. up in a minute so yeah it's just it's basically just clear resin that's running down um, and I'm okay with that Put that little bit of glitter in there I'm try and pick out 
couple of pieces of the bigger glitter if I can and just kind of put it on top hard to pick out <laughs> I'm not getting anything on there ah, tricky to pick up now yeah, is that one I don't know might be so anyway I'm gonna see if I can just pick out a couple more little pieces of glitter just using my silicone brush there to tidy it up a little bit but yeah, look, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think, I think it'll turn out very nicely. All right, now, I'll bring you down so you can have a little closer look at what I've done. So you just put a little bit in the, in the little toes there. Not a lot. That one's spreading a bit. And a little bit in his arms there and then in his in his legs all right see you tomorrow right it's the next day my little hands and feet are set now it's gonna be really careful that you don't unmold them <laughs> by mistake all right uh, with my leftover gold that I had look I put it in here I didn't actually have enough to go right around but I thought it would still make a cute little heart so let's see what that looks like. Pops out so easily. Look at that. That's so cute. Even without the little hook thingy holder. <laughs> uh, I just use my puffy heart mold. So there we go. I don't like wasting resin. Sorry, isn't that cute? I wonder what it would look like with a little bit of gold around the edge. Uh. I'll get the lid off. Oh, gosh. Why can't I get the lid off? There we go. I'll just push on it. Oh, it might be running out, actually. It might be running out. Looks as if it might be running out. I'll just get my little bit of... It's my blotting card that I use. Get that colour to come down. It's not coming down very well. Probably is running out a little bit. Let's go around the edge. It's not working very well. It must be running out. But anyway, you get the idea. Hey, I just thought, I wonder what that would look like with a bit of gold on the edge. Oh yes, we're running out. I'll have to go and find another pen. And look, it's got all fluffy on the end. You can trim that uh, with scissors. If, if yours is going fluffy, you can just trim it with some scissors. There we go. Just finishes it off. Really pretty. Anyway, there we go. Leftover resin. <laughs> okay, now get back to work. We use our Meron powder and put some on and just sort of wipe it off. Actually, no, I'm going to have to put it on thicker than that by the looks of it. Now, I don't know what will happen if I put it over the top. of my glitter. I don't really want to put it over the top of the glitter. I just want to put it on the actual mold itself. I guess it doesn't matter if it goes on the glitter. It's probably not going to stick that well anyway onto the resin. It tends to grab hold of the silicone make sure that we get okay so there I can see in there there's a little must have been a little drip of of resin so we'll get that off and then I can that's better because I could see where the little drop was of resin must have dripped down look at 
that. It's looking so pretty. Now, how am I, oh gosh, how do I get in there now without unmolding anything? I'll just have to do this carefully. Because I want to get on the side there, but you've just got to be careful you don't unmold what you've already got in there. Um, otherwise, your resin's going to go underneath. I'm only pouring clear resin in here, so it's not going to be too much of a drama, but and obviously you try not to unmold it anyway. Anyway, so I'm not going to bore you with doing this whole thing. I'm just going to take my time. Actually, maybe I will go over the glitter just a little bit. Might as well. It's not going to make any difference. I don't think it's going to really stick all that well. So anyway, I'm going to finish this off um, and mix up some clear resin. You can see where you've spilt resin, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to finish it off <laughs> and I'm going to see you shortly. So I'm using the Platinum River Table Epoxy. Love it. I've just discovered it. <laughs> Platinum sent me some to try some. I love it. Now, because when I was dusting, some of the dust's gone over the clear resin, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should just add a little bit of this into my resin, um, just in case... Like I've missed a little bit of dusting or something and I don't know. I don't know that it'll make any difference. And then I was thinking about, well, why did I dust the center, any the mold anyway, if I'm just going to pour, I could have just poured this in over the, <laughs> over the glitter in the clear. I could have done that. So I'll do that next time. I won't dust. I'll just pour a little bit of glitter and clear in like I did. And then I'll just fill it up with whatever color I'm, I'm wanting to do okay so but for today let's just try a little bit of this actually we'll use a clean stick much easier to do isn't it use a clean stick let's put some of that in there okay where's my lid hiding because the um the resin that's got the uh, glitter in it like it's clear anyway so i don't know that putting like a a gold look at that <gasps> would make any difference like it's still going to be clear I guess the only the only difference is if, if that's clear and then the whole thing's clear you might get a little bit more light coming through it but anyway we'll try it this way and then next time I won't dust the inside I'll just pour the gold in and and see what difference it makes hey should we do that? I'll use a different color glitter next time so it's not the same but just for an experiment just to see the difference between dusting the mold and just pouring in you know metallic marker powder. Look at that. It's just amazing isn't it? All right here we go. So I wasn't sure how much resin to use. Uh, I've made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of me, B. Now, so many people are still asking me why, when it's a two to one, why are you putting more of A than B? And I, I keep telling you the same thing. If you measured it in a cup and you did, say, 100 mils, milliliters of A and then 50 milli milliliters of B, if you actually put them on a scale, you'd see that A is heavier than B. So, and I don't want to be look, measuring them into a cup and looking at the line and going, oh, is that the top of the line? Is that the bottom of the line? Are they the same? And then you've got to clean out your cups and pour them into another cup. And it's just, it's just easier for me to just weigh it. Okay. And I know that A is heavier than B because I've put them on scales while I've looked at the milliliters so I know and it sets up beautifully like there's no issue now I can't squeeze the little toes because they've got resin in them and I don't want to squeeze there really because it's it's well there's resin sort of in half his eyes I think I'll paint his eyes black once we're done 
Okay, so now I'm just going to get, I'm just going to get a little toothpick here, cocktail stick. Just ease that resin into his little tootsie toes, like so. Do that on all of them. You've got to remember there is resin in these toes already, so it's not going to want to flow in there as easily as if it was just an empty mold. There is a little bit of glitter in there. A lot didn't stay in because it, the toes are kind of on an angle and it wanted to all run down into his foot. But I think there's a little bit in there still. And hopefully it'll look pretty. So I'll just fill these up. And then I'll put a little bit more resin in just to make sure it's totally full. There we go. I think that's it. All done. Doing little popping things. Little, little popping things. It's like that popping candy. <laughs> oh, look. Okay, so I probably didn't need all of this. So I'm thinking... What's my next one down? I did... Um, focus you there. See, I did 100 of A and 43 of B to get 143. I probably could have gone to the next one up and done 75 and 32 to get 107 because I've got some left. So, yeah, I would say do that one. 107 next time. Okay. We're doing another we're doing another heart. Why not? That one's got some resin left in it. Let me just clean this out. Do these top two. Some resin stuck in it. Just do this one and then we'll have a nice little heart as well so I'll just pour that in and let it run around that little nib there Probably should have gone a bit slower run around the little nib okay a little bit more fill it right up there we go. Beautiful. Look how fast it's moving in. Look! Wow! That one had a little mark on it. I must have scratched it. So I won't do that one. I'll do this one. matter if you've got a tiny bit of resin left over does it you can just put it into something else now my cup's empty look at the movement of it isn't resin just amazing the way it moves take it right up to the top okay and there we go all used up I'll clean off my stick i use it again this one, look at this one's getting thick. I've used it like I don't know hundreds of times, but I love it. I love my stick. I don't want to move on to another stick. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now I'm not going to torch. Uh, there's no need to torch because you know the silicone's right there on the edge, and I don't want to. I don't want to melt it. These these molds um, are very very thin, um, so I don't want to melt it. I'm just going to leave it. The platinum river table resin is really good for bubble release so um, I'm assuming that I'm not going to have any bubbles at all but it will take 24 hours before I can unmold so I will see you tomorrow I'm back it's the next day these are set oh my gosh really looking forward to it all right let's do the leftover a little bit of leftovers here Again, I'll just pop these in with some 
orders, if someone orders molds, they just get a little gift sometimes if I've got it. Look at that! It's really sparkly. I wasn't sure how it would look because it's quite smooth on that side, just there. And then on this side, it's, I mean, it's still smooth, but it's kind of textured. How cool is that? I wonder if that's going to look the same. And then the other one. <clears throat> so two of those. That's it from the side. So cute. All right, let's move on to what we've all been waiting for. Now, gosh, how do I even unmold this little creature? Let's start at the toes and work our way up, hey? There's a knee there. It's got these funny like little hollowed out areas <laughs> just to save on silicone, I guess. Right, here we go. I love unmolding. It's so exciting. Does everyone else love unmolding like I do? Oh, look, there's a knee. Oh, it looks amazing. We shouldn't be peeking, should I? It looks amazing. A bit of overflow there. A little bit stiff to do. I'll do the head last. All right, we've got the one foot out. Let's do the other foot. Got it. Just got to pop that little area out there. And I think that's probably the hardest bit done. Because I'll be able to peel that back, you see, like this. And then just take that out over his little head. Ta-da! I want to look, but I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Are we ready? Look how shiny that is. Wow. Okay, so this this gives us a, an insight into the the difference, doesn't it? Because that was dusted on with the Meron powder. And then this was mixed into the resin with the Meron powder. And you can see the difference. Wow. Goodness me. All right. Without further ado, are you ready? Let's do the countdown. Count with me. One, two, three. Oh, no way. Oh, look at him, you guys. Wow. That is just so beautiful wow and look he's even got some of the little glitter there in his toes i wasn't sure how that was going to work out just ever so slight little bit of glitter on the toes wow not enough wows there's a tiny little bit there that must have like run underneath i mean i tried not to move you know, the top bit, because I said to you, we're going to be careful we don't unmold that because it can get underneath, but a little bit's got under. Wow, wow, wow. It's so pretty. Look how sparkly it is. What do you think of the colour? It's it's a nice gold, isn't it? And I didn't want it too yellow gold because I wanted it to contrast with the glitter rather than not. Now, I'm just going to get my black marker. I can find it. It's a black marker. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just, I just can't, can't believe how pretty it is. All right, so, I mean, it's up to you if you want to leave his little eyeballs or whether you want to color them. But I think, I think it just needs a little bit of contrast. If you don't like it, you can just wipe it off. It's not a big deal. to get in there. The foot's in my way. Probably need something that's a little bit finer actually, a little bit smaller point. That one's gone a bit stubbled. Um, where's my other one? There, that's better. It's a finer, finer little nib on the end of that. It'd be easier to get into there I think. 
I'm just going to follow that little indentation that's there. You could do red eyes. That would be cool too, wouldn't it? Red eyes. I've gone over the lines a bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm colouring in again at preschool. <laughs> I can't see this eye very well because it's got glitter all over it. I'm going to clean up my little out of line area that I made. Went out of the lines. There we go. Oh, look, it just finishes him off. And if you wanted to, you could put a black line on his little mouth as well, but I'm not going to do that. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's just a little tiny area that I have to just clean up there, but. Hey, look, look at him here, guys. Oh, wow. So cute. Oh, I love that two-tone thing. This is a this is a nice size frog. Where's my other one gone? Let me get my other one. I guess they're similar. This one's definitely bigger though. Definitely a bit bigger. If I I line them up like with the back feet on that line there. And his back legs on the line there. You can see that he's bigger. But they're both gorgeous. It just it, the texture of it, oh, it. It's just so smooth and shiny. Oh my gosh. Oops, now I'm gonna zoom you back out again, don't I? Oh, anyway, let me know what you think of it. It's bright and early, it's sunny. 6.30 a.m. I need to go and have my coffee. I was so excited to come down and check this out that I haven't had my coffee yet. Love it so much. Now I'm going to do another one. I want to do um, Let's Resin. I've got like a, I think it's like a bluey silver glitter that I want to use. And then I'll do um, navy. Maybe I should do a silver. I'll have to see what I've got. But you can see that... Um, it's a metallic mica powder. It really does look amazing, doesn't it? So it's not a it's not a gold mica powder. It's a metallic powder. Okay, there's a it's a difference. All right, thanks for watching. I just love this little guy so much. <laughs> I'm gonna take him with me to the kitchen and make a coffee. I'll go scare the kookaburras with it. They'll probably try to eat him. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.